Get rid of the Heartless. Put it up oh, there. Oh, right. That's the one we saw earlier, just couldn't reach without wide. Oh, nice. I swear, I swear if Goofy screwed us over during that last time. If <laughs> 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 then he officially gets Donald stand status. <laughs> oh, man. It's really be sad for him. Mm. Alright, now we're gonna head back to the Agrabah itself, so head out the main entrance over there. Yeah, you... Ah! <laughs> 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 oh, man. I keep forgetting there's a pit right there. Or the stairs right out of here, right here, too. Yeah, you'd have to try to go to Donald's stairs after all the crap he's pulled on us. Especially stuff like him, especially that the crash in, in Burp by Sleep. Yeah, that's the main thing. <laughs> How'd that the main even reason happen? why we hate him. How'd that even happen? It just did. It's like, I just love how it's just specifically Donald and it never happens for any others. Yeah, right. It's like, Naroya just did that on purpose. It was really badly timed, too. Yeah. So we just immediately blamed everything that's been going wrong in the R in the LP to him. Pretty much. If we uh, lose to hate the Hades Cup, just blame Donald. Yep. Even so we're alone. It's Donald's fault. <laughs> it's Donald's fault because he wasn't there to heal us. Even though you're supposed to do it alone. Yeah. Donald cheat. Seriously. Oh, don't forget to put it back on this stuff. Oh, yeah, that's true. Oh. Alright. Let's just fix the customize. Uh, da -da, is this way the abilities. I can put on. Strike Rage, I guess. Well, we already have ours Arcanum. Uh, only, I say it's only best to have one limit all at a time. Yeah, that's true, because otherwise it gets a little bit messy. Cause, yeah, because because I love all everything going on. It's easy to do stuff by accident. Right. I guess we can put on both the tech boosts. Yeah. Get some extra experience while we're in uh, Hollow Bastion. Especially when we get to the fight with uh, at the end of it. Because that I think they saw the save point on off screen. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> Alright, the next treasure is actually in this room. First, you gotta get rid of what's in here. Alright. Alright. You remember that stall where we had that- Remember that area where that big- where that random guy was uh, when there was suddenly life in here? Oh yeah! <laughs> right- straight above him there should be a chest. Okay. Obviously he's not here now. Yeah. Hey, there was life here, but you left. Hopefully they uh, changed that in free. Yeah, that, just, uh, like, well, that's always been the problem with the Kingdom Hearts series, is that there's a yeah. lack of NPCs. Yeah. And making then, the world still empty. And apparently, uh, there's gonna be, like, the NPCs are actually gonna fight the Heartless with you, so... Hmm. It would be nice to actually have, uh, people around for that reason. It's the Yuji Naka, it's fine. <laughs> oh, that is genius. Right, over there, and there should be some air soldiers. Uh. What are you trying to do? There we go. I don't want to be flying around. I should end it. No. Yep. Thanks, Thanks. Goofy. Okay. And now in the room where Pot Scorpion was, so head right. straight that way. Well, actually, there is. I think there's one more treasure in here we can grab. Um. Oh, there's two in here, oh. right? Thanks, Donald. See ya. Fire. Right. Oh, come on. Ugh. And now before, and now. Dark to, to right. Oh, jump, I see, jump yeah. Wide. Now drop down to now drop down the swords left. Go for that door. 
All right, to the left. Oh, oh okay. Pl plot scorpions oh. here. Well, that's good too. Uh huh? Do you remember what to do? Yeah, you have to make sh do all the ones that uh, all the pots are move that move. Yeah. yeah. By the way, there was another treasure up there. Right. You have to find another one. I think there's a different way up, like that over there. All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, uh. Oh no! <laughs> Goofy. Yeah, I will give days this though. Like uh, they did make uh, Agrabah uh, a bit more interesting. Awesome. Wait. All right. Let's All right. try it. That one already. Oh, so okay. just avoid that. One. Be careful where you swing. Yeah. All right. It's the top. Top left. Yeah, the one in this row. Oh, God. Sora, don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Good. Okay. No, remember, you have to counter him before you can damage him. You know right. when, he, when, he, when he, like, starts to, like, snap his claws at you a few times, and then he'll dash. Yeah. But otherwise, he'll just steal a lot of poison. He comes... Yeah. A little too early. Oh, Arcanum is probably gonna wreck him. Well, I think he gets out there some amount of hits, so not, uh, don't quote me. Don't quote me, you can try. Yeah, he gets out there for a bit. You have to basically go for at least two rounds. Alright. Well, we have a... Uh... Ah. Oh, we're wrecking him because of our uh, power-ups. Keep your eye on him and be careful. Yep. Alright. Oh. Ow. All right. Mythical shard Heal. and a mythical stone. Very nice. All right, that's. I think that's all the treasures in Agrabah. Let's just check this. The journal says. Triangle. Yep. All okay. that's left are the one, all the dominations that are left are in Hollow Bastion. As well as the Trinities, right? Uh, well, there is a, uh, yeah, I think so, actually. Right. So, what are we doing now? Hollow Bastion, unless you want to try the Olympus and the Sora alone. Uh. Mm. It's up to you. The choices are yours and yours alone. <laughs> okay, what level are we? Um, 44. Um. This is about a good level to do that. Plus, we have Lady Luck. Hmm. Well, I gotta... <laughs> I gotta check on something. Okay. Well, it's up. You, you do what you want. Right. Uh, let's go back. Um, um, sorry, the water, I think that you do the blue trinity in the waterway. Right. Yeah, I think it would be better to do this, get Ragnarok. Get, try and get the, uh, XP ring, then go to the Colosseum stuff and just grind there. Alright. Well, I think the Hades couple will also open up once you finish up here. Right. This yeah. Be, uh, okay, stop, stop. Don't go in the bubble. Um, this should be, a, let's see, yeah, go that way. Alright. Uh, follow this path a bit. Yeah, you're heading the right way. Alright, uh... On the, the bowl. That one over there. Oh, okay. I think, unless you're going outside. <laughs> but yeah, you're going the right way. Alright, there should be another broken wall around here. In there. Get rid of these guys, and, and then you can, uh, and then there's a blue trinity right there. Should probably put gravity on. Uh, right. It's really shame that we can't. That we, um, we're not aiming, even though like this is the. This is oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but our together. Oh. 
Oh, hi. Oh, black, oh, black fungus. Uh, gravity. Donald, not that it helps him, but whatever. Yeah. Thank you, Don. Or thank you, Goofy. Woo. Boom. Nice. Cottage and looks like an elixir and a high potion, I think. I oh, it's a mega ether and a mega potion. I can never tell because they all, they uh, the potion stuff really looks the same to me. The only ones that are obvious are elixirs because they're uh, mm. big. Yeah. All right, yeah. just now you, now you have to head back the way you came because right. there was another way into there. Right. That that suggests we could have gone on our way around. Okay. So take the bubble back. We're just gonna, just go around the reverse way, all right? Okay. I gotta do something else for now. Uh, I'll be really quick, hopefully. <laughs> right? Alright, T. Oh, hi. Come on, I want to see... whatever. Fine. I want to see him... Ref uh, use it back. Off. Yep. Close the hot water. Hmm. Alright, sorry. Are you lost? I'm trying to figure out where, where I'm supposed to go. Where are you? <laughs> well... Oh, there's a chest over there, right? Yeah. I don't remember how I got that, actually. Oh, you have to go around. It looks like. Look, look at the, look at the ground in the, in that little spot. Yeah. Oh, I, I think I know what room it is, but we can't, we'll have to go. But we'll have to go there later. Cause we're gonna go around there anyways. So we'll just head out. All right. All right. Um. We're gonna head back up to the castle gates. So drop. Something else for us down here. Uh, this way, right? Wait, uh, no. that just takes us back over there. <laughs> so, uh, I I don't know if you if you mentioned this to me already, but uh, mm -hmm. what got you, you? You started with this game with this game when you. Oh, into, how are we like, going to Kingdom Hearts in general? Uh, um, start, don't go in there. That's the way back in. Oh, those are wizards. Oh, we haven't seen them before. No. Hopefully, they they respawn. Yeah, we need to get those guys in the journal. Yeah, we need to get those guys, and also we need to... They also have something, a really good drop for Donald. Mm. The wizard relic. Which is his second best weapon. Right. Okay, we care about the bubble. Nope. And... Where are they? I don't think they're here. It's a little more to the right. I think... Well, a little bit more... Oh, there they hi. Are. 
wizards, and they also cast a lot of advanced level magic and teleport. Right. But uh, but the thing is, they're mostly invincible when they're doing that one right there. Yeah. The only thing I can hit them during that is uh, is um is is your limits. And... Right. And I mentioned I dropped the wizard rock, but it's a very low drop. What was it like two percent? Uh, I wouldn't be surprised. But we have we well like we have lucky strikes on and all that. Yeah. Oh, I actually, we put all the mess things back on Goofy. Um. We can check probably after this, because we because we want to get the defender shield and the uh with and the wizard relic. Right. Because they'll really help when we do the uh, Hades Cup. Because you know just to get Don Don and Goofy that little extra boost. Um, I think lizards like all magic except for gravity, I think. Right. Oh, don't give Don all time he gift. <laughs> oh, he's down. What were you saying earlier about like how we go into the series? Um, I don't really remember. Well, here's the thing. Um, I, uh... Ended up getting a PS3 for Christmas in like 2014, and I thought uh, it would by that point it would be a, it would be good a good idea to get into a lot of Sony franchises that I missed out on over the years, and um, and Kingdom Hearts just I guess happened to be one of them because I had uh, a few friends that uh, were massive fans of the series, uh, Jerry talked a little bit about um, them occasionally and I don't know, it's like decide to get 1.5, see what it's all about and here we are today I guess. Mm -hmm. um, as for me, I never owned Kingdom Hearts 1 like because I, I, I played vanilla first right. but I never owned it. I only borrowed it. Oh, okay. Well, actually, most of the games I eventually started added to my collection for myself, I borrowed at first. Right. Like, uh, like Fire Emblem Awakening, for example, I borrowed from a friend after I tried the demo because I wanted to try the full game out, mm. and I loved it. But yep. and but regardless, um, what happened with Kingdom Hearts for me was uh, the first thing I got for it was the commercials on TV. Oh, I didn't actually talk about uh, the uh, how I. Everything that came up to me play actually playing the series and owning the collections, but uh, you can finish first before I do that. All right. Um, after I saw I saw the commercials on TV one time, kind of kind of at random, I think. I think it was on uh, when when I was regularly watching Cartoon Network. Right. And so uh, I like saw like the I was a big I still I am a big Disney fan to this day and. Start seeing that with a Disney character something like that, I got extremely interested in like what this could be. Right. So I, uh, when, when I learned my one of my friends a few months later after the commercial came on had it, mm. I uh, asked to borrow it and I borrowed it for about, I think a month. Okay. And because it was, I think it was actually one of my first RPGs. Mm. And, but after that, I mean. Well, I, I, I kind of sucked the game and all that in my first run. Oh, yeah, I did as well. Like, I had no idea what I was doing half the time. I was time. dying a lot. Yeah. But even, even though I was playing on the on the standard. Mm. But regardless, I doing that, I, uh, I, I even though my first run wasn't exactly the, the best in terms of myself, because that happens a lot with, with some franchises I'm introduced to, you should see how yeah. terrible my first Fire Emblem pl playthrough was. Oh uh, no, yeah, it, I mean, if, you, if it's your first time playing a uh, really, I don't know, tactical kind of game, uh, your first run's probably gonna be kind of meh. Yeah, but, when, but then eventually I, that actually got me interested in the series as a whole. Right. So when uh, I, it, then I saw the Chain of Memories commercials and all that stuff, I, I borrowed, I, I, try, I tried that out when a friend had it, just, just tried it out. I was kind of, I was kind of mixed about that, but then I actually, uh, then, I, then I brought two from the same friend, I believe. Right. Well, and, 
I was really wanting to get into the series at, in, after a while. <laughs> but, but my first actually owned Kingdom Hearts game right. was, um, I think it was Dream Drop Distance. Oh! I, I, I actually, I got my copy of Vanilla 2, um, in, on, in from a trade. Cause, yeah. um, I had Donkey Kong Country Returns on the Wii. Yep. And I, and as a, as a Christmas tr in trade thing, we gave each other uh, th those games. Yeah, that's a pretty good trade. Uh huh. So, and so, um, I was playing that for a while. I even borrowed Recoded when that eventually, or Rechained Memories when it happened. Oh, okay. But basically, all the Kingdom Hearts games I owned, I borrowed. And I borrowed at first. Hmm. And then I, uh, event then eventually when we got the PS3 and the HD collections and all that, I jumped immediately to, uh, 1.5. Right. When I saw it, it was available. Yeah, and I, then, I, Yeah, go ahead. No, I was saying, like, um, I'm kind of lucky that I got into the series when those collections were coming out, because, yeah, this series goes all over the place in terms of console releases. Mm hmm I'm at least glad we both and we I started out with one. Yeah. But event but I just fell in love with the series. Mm. As, as much as the uh, story can get nutty. Yeah. It's it's just something that you uh in, well it's, that I hold it's one of my most cherished um franchises. Yeah. I mean look back at the uh pod, the uh, podcast we did a while back. I don't know where you were uh, had a uh, Jason, but yeah, it I it went from me not being not actually playing the games to uh, my four favorite franchise in general, and that's like a that's a massive like change. <laughs> and I'm still I'm still kind of surprised how much I love this franchise to this day. Yeah, and say what you will about like the um, was it the. The story being really like kind of out there all the most of the time and all this other stuff is still a part of the series I enjoy. Like uh, with RPGs, it, it's like I want to take in the full experience. I guess is a way to say it. I think yeah, it's like also kind of well with the Final Fantasies I suggested. You did five because it's a bit more. Well, it's not exactly the most story focused one. Mm. In, in fact, it's very. In fact, the story is very silly. <laughs> But that is, but I think it's more just of a, a fun. It's a fun kind of silly, like one you can enjoy because they were the, the game came first, really. Right. Get this blue book. Just make sure there's nothing. Yeah. But no, like one other thing about Kingdom Hearts is that it it did uh, make me appreciate RPGs more. It made me go back to a uh, complete superstar saga, and it's. Generally, just g given me more of an interest in RPGs because beforehand I liked them, but I didn't think they were really anything too special. Before, now my um, outlook on them is a lot more is a lot different, and I want to give more of the I want to give them more of a shot now, so I can give Kingdom Hearts props for that. Mm -hmm. Actually, and, you know, if it wasn't for Kingdom Hearts, I would never would have been introduced to Final Fantasy, actually. Hmm. Yeah, it's like, uh, you wouldn't f think, like, uh, Kingdom Hearts, uh, was it, um, Disney and, uh, Final Fantasy would work so well together, but it's just funny how well they managed to mix them. <laughs> and it's also kind of funny when you realize the digital gaming thing in with that fat that little joke about like well it sounds more like a joke about like the moron at Disney executive in an elevator. That's actually true, yeah. Um, you wanna look at uh, the, look at the, I think you need to drop down to a bookcase area. Mm. Is there there's still one more book missing, I think. Yeah. Do you have that one? Yes you do. Do -do 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 -do. Yay! I don't know if these book names mean anything. Uh, might, might uh, have something to do with it. Also, this is the uh, area we saw Kari and her grandmother in that cutscene. Right. Where Sora pretty much pulled a Sonic. <laughs> yeah. 
or pretty much every character in SA1. Yeah, where, where did you, um, uh, where was uh, Kingdom Hearts on uh, your list of franchises? I don't remember. I think I, I think I put it up with, I think I put it up where you put it up. Uh, you said fourth? Yeah. Because, like, I think, I know I said, like, for, like the Shin Megami Tensei series is one, is high up there, too. I remember, I just remember, um, Pokemon was one, uh, number one. And yeah, for it main, mainly for like what it did for like me and my family and all that stuff. Right. Also, this elevator sucks. Look at Goofy just kind of shifting along a little bit. <laughs> Cause like we're gonna have to get back on this exact same elevator again a little bit. Yeah. Cause we had to ride all the way to that other side once we hit a switch. Yep. Yeah, they should have just. Gonna... They really should have just skipped this. Or at least he's shown it once. Yeah. But yeah, what's stopping us from jumping off? <laughs> uh, that'll be funny. Uh... Okay, gravity. Force. Oh, watch, uh, watch out! I've accidentally activated that before once while I was down. Yeah. Osmos awesome. G is anymore in here? There's one over there, but I can't reach that. All right, then let's then we're going heading back. I think that's the other one when we hit the switch later. Right. Uh, but, um, yeah, I kind of went a little bit all over the place in terms of, like, actually getting into the series, because, like, the first uh, thing where I ended up knowing, not, I didn't even know this was Kingdom Hearts related at the time, but uh, during, like, this play or something, I think I told you about this once, um, my friend was just, like, playing with this Rubik snake I gave him, and just, like, like hitting the ground with it saying like oh when when you look away a heartless just pops up and I'm hearing it <laughs> it's like what okay and uh, <laughs> okay where are we headed um we're heading back to the library now all right all right let's see anyways the wizard relic let's see drop rates 0.2 percent oh jeez but trust me, that's the one thing that we really want. Alright. This one's kind of puzzly. See ya. Yeah. Fire. But yeah, after that, um... What happened? Um... I don't know if I played the demo of Dream Drop Distance Fire. uh, first or what... Because it's been... Fire. quite a while. Um... Well, do, you, do you think it was the first thing you did for Kingdom Hearts? In terms I of think, actually playing it? I think it was the first thing I played. Fire. And you um, enjoyed it? Yeah, um, I... I, I, I no, swear... I swear there's a, um... There's a, uh, another one. Something else that happened beforehand, but I can't remember. Um... We'll get that later. Yep. Yeah, we need those pieces to open the door. Um... I don't know, it's like, I'm just gonna say, I play Dream Drop Distance's demo first, um, I really liked uh, how the, how the game felt, and after some time, uh, got the, got the PS3, got 1.5, and, uh, just played through the games, and, yeah. That's the history? Pretty much. If it is a stone over there, you have to hit with thunder, I think. Right. One of these uh, statues you gotta push. I think it's this one. Uh, okay. Yep. Move me! <laughs> Thank you. Yep. Okay, right. now, there's, now, now there's a stone you have to hit with thunder. That as a shortcut. I think it's this one. Here. Yeah, it has the lightning bolt on it. And there we go, now we have a way up. Yep. Very nice. Now let's grab those emblem pieces. You know, you know what that one on the, on the top was? What? A fire emblem. <laughs> <laughs> That's a weird one. <coughs> Alright. Okay, is that all of them? Yep, it's four. Right. Oh yeah, you had to put it in each one. It looks like a mustache. Or oh, the weird looking one. <laughs> also, doing this will cause Heartless to spawn in the room. Right. And a cutscene. 
cutscene triggers. Much. Why? It was mine. Oh yeah, this is basically Riku just becoming desperate now. The heart that is strong. Along with you running. <laughs> Like seriously, like we went back for the backtracking and then we left the session. You're saying yeah. your heart's weaker than his? He's that for slow. That instant, yeah. You no, know, he went for he went through the entirety of Chen of Memories However, first. <laughs> you can become strong. Took him almost twelve hours. Yeah. You showed no well, in a row. Stepping through the door to darkness. Yeah, no, no grinding. For you. <laughs> Plunge deeper into the darkness, and your heart will grow even stronger. What should I do? Did you, really did you not hear me, boy? <laughs> so Open you... yourself to the darkness. Just, just wax him over the side of the hill to sleep. <laughs> what did I just say, boy? Being become darkness now fight me in a couple games later. Well, so how can he even talk? Like, I don't, I don't get how like. Well, that's uh, that's young. That's young Xanor, isn't it? No, well, 